I don't know if you know this, but the trial period is officially over. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I don't think I say that often, but uh, this is a welcome back. And today I want to sit down with you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not taking you on any journeys, but I want to have a discussion about February 1st. <laughs> January 1st is always looked at as this rebirth to our year, but we all know it's the trial period and the year really begins on February 1st when you get your bearings together and here we are and I don't have anything together, but I want to talk about it while doing my makeup. So I definitely have taken these last 31 days to figure out was working and what isn't working. And there's so much that doesn't work. I will say that there are so many variables. So maybe those things will work later in the year when it's a hot mom summer again. But this winter weather definitely deters you from getting much done. Like fitness. Of course, fitness, health, and nutrition is always on my list of goals. I'm just applying primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip and I'm tapping it in because it is very sticky and I feel that if I rub, I'm going to create this residue, like glue, kind of. If you can think of a child who likes to rub glue on their fingers. I also don't like pulling my skin because your girl is 37 years old and <laughs> life don't crack, but it sure does not be gravity so sometimes it sags but fitness was and is always going to be on my goals but more so i'm changing it from fitness to health and nutrition i've gone to the gym I, I i can probably count on this hand only how many times i visited the gym this month and i don't feel bad about it because i've been doing my thing in the kitchen instead I went and got this in body scan. Turn on the silver part. Yep, so don't touch the handles or anything. Just stay still. All right. <gasps> Keep your arms away from the body. So you're going to grab the handles. Yep. Over the switcher. Okay. Right. So you go ahead and step down. It's going to take a couple minutes to print because it's kind of a sleep, but... Okay. <laughs> it's like a DEXA scan. It basically assesses your full body, not like a scale and not just for BMI. It assesses everything. My left from right side, according, you know, in regards to strength, uh, the amount of lean mass I have, which is muscle, the amount of non-lean mass I have, which is lots of fat. And I did this because... I go to the gym often. I feel like I'm a pretty active person, but for whatever reason, I wasn't seeing the results. And I realized that I needed to figure out what, I just added some pro concealer in the uh, orange color corrector. This is for all of the dark spots. That's why you see it at the corner of my lips where I get eczema flare ups and along here where I get some hormonal breakouts. And I tap with <laughs> my finger because I don't want to turn my brushes orange uh, when I go to apply my makeup and then end up looking like Malibu Bobby. The Embody Scan gave me a full perspective of what I need to work on. It doesn't tell you that, but based on the assessment, I've made my own decisions about what I want to change. And right now I'm just focused on nutrition to decrease the amount of fat in my body and hopefully improve the high blood pressure that I've been experiencing, as opposed to going to the gym, trying to run away from the fat and then coming right into the kitchen and taking it in again. You saw that small dot, you see how big it gets? You only need a little bit and what's on my hand will go to any other places. So I'm definitely changing, you know, what I thought I wanted on January 1st to something else for February 1st. 
fitness, yeah. Health and nutrition, absolutely. You guys saw in a vlog that I was reading my Bible. I finally finished John. I'm hoping that I finish a book every month, um, but also a book in the Bible <laughs> every month. Some are really long, some are just two or three pages. So of course those can move faster. And I'm following a plan that I saw on Pinterest. Somebody come and get my phone because Pinterest definitely has me in a chokehold. But uh, I finished John, I'm moving on to Mark tomorrow. So I, um, I'm, I'm serious about my Bible, but I realized that on this journey to keep finding a church, yeah, I'll still continue, but I'm not going to rely on my connection to a church. Um, I'm not going to rely on that in order to find a connection to what I'm reading in the Bible. I wish I had a connection to a church because I think that it will help me break down some of the stories. I love when a pastor is able to connect some of the stories to the things that we are having having to experience in real life because it makes the story so much more palatable so much more understanding understandable but that hasn't happened yet the church i told you guys about union church what's left i'm gonna put on my mustache even though it's not a huge dark area like these were you know it gives that that cast Yeah, so even though I talk like that about that church like a dog, <laughs> because who puts a pastor on Zoom, y'all? But I'm going to give the church another try. I say what I have to say. <laughs> a lot of people say brows should be last. They're probably right. But I like to go in on my brows around now and then come back in and refine them. Uh, once my face is on. So this is just a double-ended tool from e.l.f. And this is what I'm ultimately going to use. I'm pretty sure you've seen this. I probably have it in your makeup bag. But it's the um, eyebrow styler um, crayon. And it also has a brush like this attached to it. Uh, you probably know this, but I do not get my brows done. I've looked into uh, all of the cool new things that the girls are doing, like shading and whatever. I'm sure I need it right there on the tail end. Mm, it looks like something's missing. But number one, I'm afraid that they're going to look too sharp and everybody's going to be like, where's the surprise? And I'm going to be like, what you talking about? And they're going to be like, your brows. So after combing them out, I'm gonna go in and fill them in. I always start from the middle. And my strokes are so light, so they have to be many, 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 many strokes. And I'm not trying to plaster a brow on here. So it doesn't need to be fully filled in. just a little bit more definition because right now it looks like I have no brows. And I'm using such lightness that I'm trying to draw on the hair, if that makes sense, as opposed to drawing on the skin. I'm sure it's on my skin too, but the goal is not that. The goal is Let's get some shape. I wish this um, primer would dry down. Uh, I'm looking very shiny. One of my goals really should be to leave my face alone. I don't know if you can see it, but right here was a pimple and it kept bothering me. So I was like, I really can't help it. I want to stop 
and I'd be like, oh, let me just get this. And then afterwards, I'm not going to touch anything else. Lies. Lies. This is a new buy for me. Not the brand, just the color. This is Warm Sand. I just finished another one of these, probably my last makeup um, application. So I knew that I was ready to bust this out. And I got this shade because my other one wasn't giving me that highlight under my eye it was just giving me match color match and when you go into sephora you really have to know what you want because they're giving you what they want i mean how else would they they know most of my application is with my fingers I like to go in with my middle fingers um, because this can be a little too heavy. So there's no more orange on here, so, but I'm still going to play it safe and use a different finger. Yeah, so going through um, the Bible by yourself is very hard. I wanna say that a lot of times I am going on Pinterest again to get some ideas of what other people have posted about in their uh, interpretation. I'll try to find an image and put it in here of this one thing that broke John down. It broke down like the seven things that happened, the seven promises and the seven, it was like all sevens. And I was like, oh, like, damn, I wish my notes helped me capture that. But a lot of my notes are just question marks <laughs> as opposed to understandings but guess what that's okay and when i find a church if i go to see this pastor at the location where he's in person and i feel connected i'll stay there and i'll get some more clarity speaking of books and i'm just dragging it up because it kind of gives me let me look straight on to you hopefully you can see that it gives me kind of like an eye lift this eye shouldn't be as draggy as this eye. I'm also dragging it out because I want to give my eyes that shape, that cat eye shape, without putting on an eyeliner. I might put on an eyeliner, but if I don't, I still have it. And then I'm dragging it down just to blend out. Hopefully, by the time I'm done, my finger is clear. I am also making sure that I get some leisure reading in because the Bible isn't the only book that I want to be reading. I just finished for the month of January, I was reading this book called The Garden Within by Dr. Anita Phillips. It's a really good book. It was about spirituality as well, but it connected mental health, which is the field that I'm in, with spirituality, which is what I'm so interested in connecting with right now. So it kind of gave such a great explanation of how God's garden is within us and the actual connection to nature and how we see God and all of that. I'm actually going to go over this orange spot afterwards um, with some concealer. Anything left on my finger, I'm gonna put it where concealer needs to go, which is like usually along my drawline. And then that orange spot, but I want that to be last so that I'm not transferring any orange anywhere. All of the makeup girlies are gonna come over here and be like, girl, where are your brushes? I swear, I have brushes. Better, better. Yeah, so my next book though, after having read such a heavy book, it was it wasn't it wasn't heavy and like huh, it was heavy and like oh, like it sparked my intellect, it sparked my understanding, it sparked a lot of things. But after this, I need something salacious, something juicy. So I'm definitely reading some Colleen Hoover. This is hugely controversial. Do I put on my concealer first or my foundation? Sometimes it's whatever I choose, but 
The reason why I like to put on concealer because this is so dark. This is Juvia's place and it's the number five. You can see how dark it is against my uh, skin tone. So it's so dark that sometimes I have to correct um, with my foundation. Uh, and I don't want to darken my foundation, but you know what? We're going to take, take our chances right now and do it the other way. So foundation first. And I'm using Makeup by Mario. I'm the color 20N. At least this is the color I was when I went into Sephora. I need to start going into Sephora in the winter because, ooh. 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 <laughs> and here I go tapping again. And don't think that I'm reading these books and sitting down. You know I'm a mom of two. You see me in that car on my way to somewhere, on my way from somewhere. So I do not have an actual book in my hand. I uh, have an audio book playing wherever I am, when I'm cooking, when I'm taking a shower, when I'm driving, when I'm just on the move. And so that's how I'm able to read. Remember those cheat meals that I told you about? Cheat this as well. And it doesn't give you the same sensation sometimes because you know when you're reading and you want to highlight something you can't or when you're reading and you want to refer back to something like there was um an outline about friendship in anita phillips's book and i was like damn um i want to go back to that because i wanted to talk to my friends about it and say like am i fulfilling all of these <laughs> these things for you as a friend and i and i just couldn't find oh yeah by the way i put on a wig And not just because I wanted to, I for sure wanted to have like a change in my look. And so it's great to have some wigs laying around. But this time it was because I pulled out the clippers and I went Jodie Foster. I went Britney Spears. I don't know what is wrong with me. I saw a style and I said, girl, easy, I could do that. <laughs> Can't, can't do it. I don't know the first thing about barbering. I don't know the first thing about styling. I don't know where this confidence comes <laughs> in my ability to do something that a professional should be doing. My face is giving so much dewiness today and I'm not horribly mad at it, but I specifically skipped over my morning skincare knowing that my 10 steps would definitely not help this makeup stay throughout the day. Next in my trial period is family and friends. You guys know I hosted the girls for the weekend the other day and I love my friends. They kind of are my family. Alexa, stop. Not that I have a small family. I feel like I do have a small family. But a lot of my family don't, you know, just live the same lifestyle as me. Therefore, we don't connect all this, the time. We don't have those opportunities to have these deep conversations and these experiences together. And so I had to move back away from myself because I'm like, is it matching? Is it? Like, I have cousins, and we're one of my favorite cousins. We're 24 days apart, but she lives on the whole other coast. And so, while she's my favorite cousin, we just don't get to see each other as often as we'd like because flights have gone up. They are getting us back for COVID, okay? Flights have definitely gone up. So, we just don't get to see each other as often. And then, my other cousin, who is the same age as me as well, we just have a total different life outlook. That's how little bit of this concealer you need. This Juvia's Place is so pigmented. I think that's too much. So I'm just setting up where I want to contour my face. 
and it won't just be in these areas, but it will drag. And so, I'm not even gonna put any on my nose because it's gonna drag. Um, so my friends really fulfill that, those areas for me where I might just need someone with the same outlook or a similar outlook. And even if not a similar outlook, they know me enough to be like, girl, uh, I don't see it that way. And so my friends really are my chosen family in addition to my real blood. But... A huge butt. <laughs> and I'm gonna just drag that in and out to create that contour, you know, that, that five o'clock shadow. <laughs> See, that's why sometimes I choose not to use a brush because it gives such a mark of like a demarcation. Is that the word? I think so. I hope so. I went to college. I graduated a couple times. And now that I dragged it out, I'm going to drag it up and down just a little bit. I'm probably going to go in here with my finger. Because I'm definitely looking like, yo, I just left the barber. Who next? <laughs> yeah, I hate this brush. This brush is stiff. What is this brush for? Angled foundation. Who brought this? Harpo, who this woman? <sighs> yeah, so the big but is that I'm just not going to put a lot more energy into ensuring that I host my friends in such a way that is overwhelming. And it's not their fault if you're watching, it is not your fault. I just am an anxious person and it's, it's getting worse. And <laughs> you know, last event that we had, I was just upset. I was just like, and they're not telling me when they leave and they're not telling me when they're gonna show up and they're not telling me if they're bringing their kids or not. And, you know, I was at the grocery store buying food to cater 50 when it was just going to be less than 10 of us, um, plus or minus a couple of children. And retrospect is 2020, so I realized that it's me. It's me. I'm the one at the store fussing. I'm the one in the text message like, really? Really, you're not gonna come? Really? I've been doing all of this work and you ain't gonna show up? And then guilting people into showing up. Like, <laughs> 2024, I want you to live your life and I wanna live my peaceful life, okay? And if you do come, my guest room is ready, but I will not be planning for a group arrival anymore. That That's just been my, damn. You know what's in my makeup bag? The two Valentino Romans that Alicia gave me, these don't belong in here. And I already put on my fragrance for the day. I'm smelling like Baccarat by Mason, um, but it's not Baccarat. It's the $40 version from, from Zara. It's the Red Temptation. And um, I put all my friends onto it. They love it. I have so many Zara dupes. When I went to Paris and I... I just hold, I just did a Zara Dupal. Well, anyway, it's not about that. So I love my friends and family. I'm just not planning anything for them this year. And I'm gonna try to stick to that. Like even my birthday, I usually plan it and, and have these expectations that this person will show up for me. And I think that that's what gives me anxiety and happiness and sadness. And I just don't want it to depend on who, who's present. And understanding, let me 
understanding that people can show up sometimes and can't the others, I want that to organically happen and not for me to be like, okay guys, you all are going to show up on this day and I'm gonna make it nice, like Dorinda says from Housewives of New York, I'm gonna make it nice and you're gonna have a good time. And because I put that in my head, have that expectation and if it doesn't happen, then get angry. Not worth it this year. Instead, I'm already planning a really, really nice trip for me and my kitties uh, to go to somewhere. I've put together half an itinerary for Santorini and I'm like looking at kids and things to do. I'm like, they just want to run around and eat ice cream all day. Uh, I also looked into Ghana, but I realized Ghana is really just a December thing. It could be an August thing, I'm sure, but am I going to go to Ghana and be like, all right, hey, where's everybody? Oh, y'all not coming down for another four months? Not in August? Okay, all right. I don't know if I'll be back because the tickets is high, but um, okay, y'all not here. Okay. <laughs> like, if you know that a place has tourism popping at a certain time, you know, you, you decide, do you want to be there during the popping time or not? And I would, just so that I can get that full experience of what you see. Yeah, this one needs to be blended out a lot. That one, much better. However, I am thinking about friends and family because this year is my husband's 40th birthday, and here I go, thinking about a plan. It would be lovely to just be like, babe, pack a bag, let's go somewhere. But he's also not that type of person. So when I say I'm planning my birthday trip for me and my kids, it's because he'd rather, you know, eat at a restaurant <laughs> than go somewhere and travel and know that there's a full itinerary and so forth. So what's left from my contour finger, I'm gonna shape my nose out. And I don't do much, cause I don't need to have one of those like overly shaped noses, just not my thing. Okay, I, I needed a little bit more. <laughs> there was nothing happening with this finger. Oh, nothing much. But his 40th birthday is coming up, so I'm thinking like, it would be amazing to use our backyard as a place to have, you know, a themed dinner. And here I go thinking about people who can come in town and who could take the attic and who could take the other room and who could take the basement or whoever wants to. I'll put together like a hotel package. See, I'm going too far. I'm, I'm, listen, okay, trial period is over. I gotta remind myself. This is a big one, y'all, career, professionally. I don't know, look, I'm starting to itch as I talk about it. <laughs> I'm starting to itch as I talk about it. Professionally, I don't know. I think I need to sit and really make some decisions. But what I do know is that I put in my notice. I put in my notice with the company that I've been working with for the last two months, almost, not even two months. As you know, I moved here in April, got laid off in June, and was unemployed for a little bit. I was doing some fee-for-service work, nothing full-time. So you see, like, once my makeup is on, I can tell if I need a little bit more eyebrow or not. Back in like 010 or 11, 
012. These brows used to be sharp. Mm, if I could find a photo, oh my God. These brows used to look like I peeled them off of a sticker book and put them on. They were matching. They were dark. They were like this. They were ready to fight. <laughs> they were a lot. And while that was the trend, it was not going to be my life uh, much longer because I was late to work a lot of time because of my brows. Here goes another Juvia's Place product. I have not used all of these colors. I bought them because I was like, oh my God, the colors are beautiful. What am I gonna put these on? Like, if I go to Carnival, which is something I actually wanna do, I do wanna go to Carnival. I'm just adding some definition because I look like when you just see me, I just look one color. Um, adding a little bit of color here. Yeah, so after being laid off, taking up some FIFA service, um, I finally got a full-time opportunity and hated it. This expectation to have seven clients a day, back to back to back for 45 minutes with just 15 minutes in between to maybe pee, maybe get a drink of water, maybe get a bite to eat and do all of my notes it was too much. And I know that I could do it, but I just didn't want to work that hard. And it sounds crazy, I know, but we come from a workhorse mentality. Our parents, let me just speak for my parent. My dad always said, take the test, take the test, because we're from New York, so you could take the civil service exam. And it worked out for him. But baby, I'm a millennial. And I have to tell him all the time, I work from home and I work a little bit. <laughs> um, no, but I, I think that I've started to understand that there are other luxuries in life. I love just being home. I love making my house a home. And I want to have an opportunity to service and be comforted. And I'm finding that balance for me. And maybe that doesn't mean nine to five. Maybe that means 11 to four for now. That also means that people need to pay more so that we can afford the cost of living in America. This, I don't want this to get political because y'all gonna click off the video. Damn, I blinked and look. This is how I used to put on mascara. <laughs> then I realized mascara has nothing to do with opening your mouth. Like you don't need your mouth open to put on the mascara. I definitely took it back with the pink and green. Like nobody needs to know the name of this. Like I don't need to show you the um, logo because nobody really needs to know the name of that mascara. It's the pink and green one in the drugstore. I'm going to take my hair down because I just want to see what I need. You know, different, different hairstyles might elicit a different makeup look. I think I'm going to do an eyeliner if I can find it. Another thing that I think about touching, aside from my eyebrows, is my eyelashes. I'm always like, maybe I should get some eyelash extensions, but I'm really afraid, y'all. I'm afraid to come out looking like this. And every time I blink, <laughs> that's my biggest fear. I'd be sad for y'all when y'all outside. It look like y'all eyes are lifting weights. It looks like your eyes are are just responsible for taking you in flight. Yeah. 
yeah this just added some weight to my eyelid because it looks very light over here it looks very light um i'm so embarrassed by my nails <laughs> what is this do i keep that to test out the product like what do i <laughs> You know, here's the thing. When you think you should put more, you end up looking like Nicki Minaj. You know when Nicki Minaj does that winged eyeliner? But it's like, girl, that's an eyeshadow at this point. That's a winged eyeshadow. But here I go. I'm going back in. just the tip this is an old eyeliner a lot of my makeup is old um, when I need to replace it I do but I don't need to because I don't use it often this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Eyeliner yeah so with the career I am going to be switching it up I was telling my friend at this point I'd rather do something mindless like drive the bus or deliver the mail or, <laughs> or take orders at fast food and that's not making fun of anybody's job but sometimes it feels like it's mindless in comparison to what I'm doing and I'm sure all the postal workers out there and all the bus drivers y'all could let me know if it's mindless work or not but I could imagine just driving Oh, I, oh, you getting off? Okay. Here's your stop. <laughs> As opposed to, okay, sexual abuse. Okay. Anxiety, right? Depression. Okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I'm not changing up too much. I'm just decreasing at the moment. And that should be enough. One can never be like the other. Like, come on. I think I got it, y'all. <laughs> My eyelids are getting purple, and I really did not ask anybody for Of course, I'm going in and making just a little bit more additions. I feel like this is okay for an everyday look. I might feel a little bright. Um, hopefully, it's the light. Who knows? But I'm going to get myself a little bit more together. This purple eyelid is killing me. This should not show up purple. It literally looks brown. Maybe I'm not putting on enough. And now I'm about to, you know when it's okay and then you ruin it. Let's just blend away our mistakes. That's what January was. We are, we are blending away any mistakes, any mistakes that we have made. We are refining any of the thoughts that we may have uh, had. I do not want my... Now I'm giving early 2000s for real. That's what we're going to rename this makeup tutorial. Early 2000s makeup. No, because I'm not I'm not going back to thick or thin eyebrows. I'm gonna just leave it at this point. Because I'm either gonna mess up that wing that I created or I'm going to go into the brow and that does not make any sense. Not that I'm going anywhere extremely special, but just because I like the look, I'm going to make sure it stays on by pulling an Early Decay All Nighter. Um, this is just a setting spray. And if I wasn't already glossy, now I am. Um, 
the set and spray isn't the last step. This is why people don't like doing makeup because there are so many steps. Uh, as the set and spray dries down, like while it's drying down, just joking. <laughs> Uh, while it's drying down, I'm going to take a dirty sponge. The second spray is in. Is that going to stick? And I'm just going to create some light areas and also take away some of the shine. And while I clean up, I'm going to let this dry down. This is the Huda Beauty Blondie. Um, this is baking powder. There was another thing that I was going to take away from the trial period. We taught fitness, health, nutrition. We taught family and friends. We taught spirituality um, and books. And we also taught career. I guess those are some really big ones. But from this, I want you to take that February 1st, January 1st, they're all arbitrary dates. You do not have to stick to those dates as the end all be all to your greatness. If those dates pass and on March 4th, you realize, hmm, this ain't working for me either, make the change on March 4th. I think that that's fair. And I don't think there's anybody that can tell you, hmm, you didn't start on January 1st too late. I dare somebody. Tell them, tell them come watch this video. <laughs> but if on March 4th, you also realize that the changes you were trying to stick to from January 1st aren't working, then it's fine to let those things go. It's way too often that we let this greatness depend on what Hallmark has put in place. And I say that because we all know Valentine's Day is not a real day. Neither is Mother's Day. Neither is like all of these dates that they put on so that we can just spend. And we wonder why gym memberships go up so high in January because they know you ate all that food for Thanksgiving. You ate even more food for Christmas. And now here you are. You know you're not going to be there in March. So if you realize in March that that is not working for you anymore, go ahead and cancel the subscription. There's no guilt there. There should be no guilt there. You realize that something else is going to work for you better. And that's what's important. Y'all think it's time to blend? Y'all think I'm baked? Usually when it gets a little tight, that's when I know. Ding, 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 the cake is done. Quick question, did we, did we get it from drag queens or did they get it from us? <laughs> it's putting new powder on, I want it to blend out. I'm gonna take care of you in a second, thanks.
okay i came back on camera because i realized i wanted a lip even though it's daytime i realized i wanted a lip so i comboed that's why this is not the lip i wanted let's see if it'll work okay i got my you can't a dog ate this but i know it's chestnut <laughs> It's my chestnut lip liner, and I went on the outside of that. I didn't realize that this was cream cup. Who ordered that? Uh, I thought it was my honey love, but now my honey love is probably at the bottom of this makeup bag. Anyway, I'm going to take the end, a trick that I learned from a makeup artist, and go in high, or ho, oh, 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 oh. No, you're gonna go inside as if you're smoking a cigarette or whatever. Oh, oh rub back and forth so you can do that but this actually helps blend it as well I hope this didn't fall on the floor I hope my baby didn't touch this and put it somewhere where I don't want it to be in my mouth <laughs> but that looks much different from just a couple of seconds ago right it's just a great way to blend easily I feel like I'm giving more purple than I wanted to when you look at my eyes and my lips, but I like the look. Anyway, thanks for rocking with me and don't forget what I said. The trial period is over, but that doesn't mean you don't have to cancel your subscriptions, resubscribe, subscribe to somebody else, but the trial period is over. It's time to reassess. And until next time, is this how you do it? Can you do a little this? Can you, can you remix it? Can you one hand it with a shoulder? <laughs>